All right, last question. What's the proper policy towards Hamas hostage taking? As far as I can tell, Israel's current and long time policy is to pay reward Hamas for hostage taking. My sense is that a government should only retrieve hostages by escalating punishment on the enemy, never by rewarding the enemy. But I haven't thought this through, and there may be considerations I'm not aware of. No, I, I absolutely agree with you. I, I, I think there has to be a fundamental principle of one does not negotiate with hostage takers. One does not negotiate with the enemy. One does not negotiate with people committed to your own destruction. Uh, the attitude towards the hostage takers need to be for every hostage you take, we'll, we'll take a whole neighborhood. We'll take, we'll take everything away from you. We'll destroy you completely so that nobody ever takes hostages from us again. And I, I said this right after the hostages were taken. Israel needs to function and act moving forward as horribly as that might seem. Israel needs to function and act as if the hostages are dead. If they, can, if they can free them, if they can put together missions to free them, if they take land and, and it turns out that they find the hostages, great, fantastic, wonderful. But they cannot and shouldn't slow down for one second. They shouldn't resist bombing any location out of consideration for the hostages. They should make Hamas pay for the fact that they have hostages. The problem is, of course, why did Hamas take hostages? Because Israel in the past has appeased them. Because in the past, Israel gave them a thousand to one. A thousand prisoners were released in order to get one hostage. So they figured we take 200, we could get everybody, we could empty Israeli prisons. And we could probably get them to stop the fighting, which they did, right? They got a ceasefire, which Hamas needed. Israel didn't. Hamas needed to... to replenish supplies, Hamas needed in order to reorganize, Hamas needed to set booby traps, Hamas needed to get their command and communication and command structure right so that they could kill more Israelis once hostilities started up again. Hamas is a massive winner of the ceasefire. I've talked about this quite a bit. So Hamas got what they wanted from the hostages. They got a ceasefire. And they'll get more in the future, right? Right now, they're only doing women and children. They're keeping the men to release the men. They'll want something as well. They'll want more. So we'll get another two weeks of fighting. And then Hamas say, oh, we'll give you another 20 hostages if you stop. Give us a breather. Let us breathe a little bit. And of course, every time that happens, it makes it more difficult for Israel to start up again. The world pressure becomes more intense. So, No. You should never negotiate with terrorists. Never negotiate with evil. You don't negotiate with, with Hitler. You don't negotiate with Stalin. You don't negotiate with Hamas. You crush them. And if Israel had done that 20 years ago, then, they, they, then the whole idea of taking hostages would never come about. But when you appease, you appease them once, you appease them twice, you appease them three times, then the fourth time they're going to take 250 hostages. Why just take one?